Hello everybody, it's me, Crystal Flame 360 or if you prefer, just Crystal for short, and this is something a little bit different. This is a Sim PE tutorial that guides you through changing the eye colour of your Sims. This should not only affect genetics, but physical appearance too. If you want to read how I learned how to do it, I'll link to the guide I used in the description below. All credit goes to that, I did not discover that myself, I learned from that post that I linked below. Um, more specifically, it's post number 16, though I think I made note of that in the description too. Anyway, if you want to see more of a visual guide, then you can stick around if you like, since I've not really seen any videos on how to do this when I was looking up how to do it myself. So, when will this guide come to be useful? Well, it will come in handy if you suddenly decided that you didn't really want your sim to have brown eyes, you wanted green eyes, or if, like me, you have social bunny spawn with the brown maxis eyes regardless of your default replacements. I'll go more into that at the end, but just note that the reason I have social bunny spawn is because I've been trying to corrupt a hood for over a year now. I don't encourage breeding with the social bunny unless you're looking to corrupt your hood. With that out of the way, let's finally get into this. I've been noticing that I've not been breathing. <laughs> so for this tutorial, you will only need the third-party utility SimPE, a package editing tool for The Sims 2. It looks intimidating, looks intimidating at first, but when you get used to it and back up regularly, you've got nothing to worry about. Worry about. I can't talk apparently. Just avoid touching the NPCs, then you're good. You will need to install SimPE to use it, which I will link in the description. Though I'm not really sure which version I'm using, to be fair. So, the third... the, the, the third! We're starting with the third, apparently, for oh, God's sake. So, the first step, and I can't stress this enough, is to back up your HUD. This should be the first thing you do whenever you decide to fiddle about in SimPE. If you're unsure how to do this, you just go into your documents, EA Games, The Sims 2, neighborhoods and then copy and paste a folder of whichever hood you're doing this in to a safe place. Since I'm doing this in my already corrupted plague town I'm not going to back it up but if I was going to its ID is N006. I'd back up before opening SimPE though just to avoid any errors that kind of pop up that kind of go oh this is open in another process we can't do this you know. You also don't have Sims 2 open either, yeah. So once that is done, you go into Tools, Neighbourhood, then Neighbourhood Browser, or you could just use the keyboard shortcut Control shift n which is what I like to do usually, but for the sake of this tutorial, I've done it like this. So with it open, click, find and click on your HUD of choice, which in my case it's Plague Town. Then we open. It may take some time to load, but I wouldn't worry. It has a lot of content to load after all, especially with my mess of HUD. I think I mentioned how messy it was in a previous episode, but it's messy. Like, extremely messy. <laughs> which you may see while I'm browsing around to find which thing I actually want to do this on. So. Right, so once it's loaded, we go into Sim Description, and then what I like to do to make things easier is to sort the names in alphabetical order by clicking on Name here in the resource list. Now it's all in alphabetical order. Find the Sim you want to use. I'll use... Babby, but which flipping Babby? Yep, this, <laughs> this is an example of how messy. I think this is the, 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 the okay one. Right, this was the normal. <laughs> this is what I mean, but this one is really messy. <laughs> like, there's, like, there's, there's five of them. Like, what? Anyway, makes things a bit easier since the final result would be obvious because he has alien eyes. So he has alien eyes and we will look, we will make them light blue. To do that, we open his DNA. 
and look at it. We open his DNA and we look at it. So as soon as we want light blue eyes, I go on the Sims wiki and look at the eye codes. I will link that below if you're interested. So we paste the one for light blue into dominant. Like so. That wasn't meant to happen. Like so. Whoa, he's already got recessive for light blue. Jesus. Well then. I mean, I always feel a bit daft. But again, I'm not going to touch the recessives. I'll leave them alone. Note though that this is only their DNA. We're getting to the physical attribute shortly. So we commit then see, which I think I already did absent mindedly. Oh shit. Um I think that <laughs> I think it's because I was trying to save it while it was saving and it just kinda went, nope. We 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 don't do this here. Anyway, we commit then save, though I think I'm in the waiting process here. So then we go into the character file by going into the more tab here and this is the character file. So it says open character file, you can read. Um, and we have a bunch of stuff here. So what we are altering is the age data and material definition. So firstly we'll go into age data and you'll see a string here, a string right here labelled I claw. Well I won't be pedantic, I colour. And you'll see that this is his original I colour. So what we do is click on it here go into the value and then paste the new one in yeah if it does that then we commit and then we save next up is the material definition if I can find it and now the amount of resources varies per sim and there may not be an eye colour in every single one. You can tell if it's the eye colour based on the code which you can compare it to from the sims wiki which is what I do. So in my case he's only got two which considering he's the spawn, yeah he's the spawn of the repo man which is why he has no surname. Um, yeah. Now, now his eye, now this is his old eye colour because I'm a saddo and I've kind of memorised the first couple digits here. So this is the old eye colour here which is calf overlay zero. I don't know if you, it'll be calf overlay for everybody though, again it varies per sim. So I go into the value here and then paste the new one in here and then I commit. Oh wait, hang on. I've got the awkward space here. Then we commit and then we save. Jesus. I almost kept that. That would have been a bit awkward. Then we go on to the second one here, which, yeah, this is also his eye colour here. So then we go into value, remove, paste, and then in my case I've got to go all the way to the start and then remove the awkward space for some reason. And that should be it. Then you just go into the game and then see now the house Bobby is in is this one yeah the... yeah don't ask about the household sap I told you this hood is weird I may have to do a video on it at some point it's just really strange I, I like I like the elf lady so you'll see that it does not have an effect straight away because as you can see he's still the same we've got to bring him to a mirror which we don't own apparently? I thought we had one oh, give me a second it shouldn't take me long to buy a mirror so then I almost clicked pack, pack now we bring him to the mirror 
and we should see the change. He wants to make friends with a mutual witch. Whoa, she's on the... Bonnie Wright, you get a laugh, 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 that's for a different time. I think it's taking a while to load because it's trying to take the changes into consideration. Watch what the, watch the game cra- oh. You know, maybe I should have done Alien Eyes. Oh. Okay, it worked. <laughs> it, it worked. <laughs> His eyes, his eyes are light blue now, yeah, it, works. it looks really uncanny though, doesn't it? Yeah, it just did not take in the mirror for some reason. Oh god, that's so... Oh, Template Two-Face, he's got going on though. Well, he is the Reaper man as well. Yeah, so that's how you... Uh -huh. That's gender bent rip. Um, thanks for ruining it. <laughs> but yeah... He looks about having made a zombie, but yeah, that's how it works. I hope this is helpful to anybody. Um, don't stare at me. Ah, come do that. Look away. So, so yeah. Um, so what's up with him? Oh, he's a. Ew. Oh my God, he's their dad. Right. Anyway. But yeah, this video's about about, about stop. Stop it! It's for Korith! It's for Korith now, it's the adult for Korith. Hi! Oh, I've not seen him in ages! Oh, oh <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. Oh, I should really play him at some point. He lives in one of the apartment lots. The, 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 the tutorial, I get sidetracked at the fucking end, Jesus Christ. So, yeah. If you if you liked it, you know, just thought I'd do something a little bit new. Anyway, bye. Okay, so just like a quick addition here, I realised that I mentioned the social bunny spawn. Said I'd get back to them at the end of the video and then never mention them again. So. The thing with the social bunny spawn is that technically the social bunny has no eyes. So if the social bunny has any kids, because that's what happened with my plague time, I got the social bunny pregnant with himself. Again, I wouldn't suggest doing that. He basically gave birth to twin girls. And, you know, I was under the impression that they had brown eyes because at the time I wasn't using any default replacements or anything like that. I hadn't even used any mods at that point either. And I noticed that when I began using default replacements, their eyes hadn't changed, which recently I'd learned that with the open for business bug where your employees, if they're wearing uniforms, have a chance of reverting to like the second face template with brown eyes and that's actually they've got they've got no eyes so technically social bunnies have no eyes they have no eye genetics to pass down and you'll see if you look at the girls's genetics dna prior to me altering them you'll see that in their eyes it's just a bunch of zeros and which is why in this picture of, you know, them standing next to two girls, you got the two girls with my default brown eyes showing fine, and them two are just using the normal Max's eyes. It's just because they've got no eyes, so the eyes that they have are basically eyes that are kind of part of the skin defaults I use, if that makes sense, because that's just kind of how they work for some reason. And then... But yeah, you can fix them in the same way I altered Babby's eye colour in the in the tutorial. Cause you'll see in this image here that they've got the default eyes. And I decided to give them brown eyes because I was under the impression they had brown eyes before I began using default, so I thought I'd just keep them brown. Although looking at 
Um, I think that one's Bonnie. You know, in the back there. Should have given a green or blue. I should have gone with her outfit a lot more. But you know what? Those were a new set of defaults I had. So, now it's bye.